And I have the transcripts. You don't lie to me, James. I already know the answers to these questions, so it's best if you just tell me the truth. So you can try to game me, but it's not going to work out that well for you. Trust me. And I feel like I should probably have an attorney here the way you guys are doing this to me. I don't feel comfortable. In today's video, Chris Hansen faces off against one of the most angry creeps that he's ever caught. This dude claims that he's being completely set up and he doesn't even know why he's being arrested. So make sure you watch until the end of this one because it's quite wild and this dude puts up an insane fight. But we all know this dude's a monster and was trying to do something terrible. So it's good that Chris Hansen was there to stop him. Without any further ado, let's get right on into this one and let's see if we can hit like, I don't know, 5,000 likes in this video that would be insane anyways let's get right on into it shall we he's been texting me since 10 this morning he knows my age says he's 40 years old he's done this a couple times but he's never met a real person yet so this is the police officer talking with chris right now giving him a rundown of how the chat's been and apparently this guy's been made well aware of the decoy's age and he is still really wanting to make this four hour commute over to see her i think it's actually a two hour drive there and a two hour drive back but that is some serious commitment and it's gonna be hard for this dude to talk himself out of this one i can already tell two men are arriving just 10 minutes apart and while we're in a heated conversation, we had to end our time together early. That's right. One of my previous videos I made last month, which I absolutely love. Make sure you go watch that if you haven't already. They had to end the video or end the interaction with this creep because another person showed up to the house and we're actually seeing that dude in today's episode. So kind of full circle moment here. That's why they have to shuffle the hat throwing guy out of the house very quickly. Man, that's exciting, but also so stressful because getting one of these stings wrong has got to be terrible feeling. Like if somebody gets made aware of the fact that it's a sting before they show up and they drive away, you almost let somebody go that could have gotten arrested for something very serious. Hi, um, I just haven't laid out to eat yet. Um, the right there. After some small talk over, the decoy excuses herself, which is my cue to meet James. So the reveal is happening. Let's see how this dude handles seeing Chris Hansen. I doubt he's going to be having a very good time because, again, you got to know who this dude is at this point in time. And as soon as you see Chris's face or really anybody's face besides the decoy that you thought you were going to be meeting in this situation, this dude's heart rate has to just spike right now as a result of seeing him. I would be absolutely terrified. Hey, I need you to put sit on the couch, please. Why? Because I asked you to. I don't know who you are. I'm going to tell you that in a minute. No, no you don't want to do that. Trust me. So he tries to bolt out the door just like the dude before him 10 minutes ago, and the police have to step in once again and handcuff him. So we're going to have another episode where the entire interview is done with the cameras out and the dude in cuffs already. What's up with this new season and people trying to run so much more than they used to in the older TCAP episodes? I don't really get why that is, but it seems to be a common theme in this new series. What are you doing here today, James? I came to meet a girl I met online. You met online, and where online did you meet? It's girl? called never met anybody from it yet okay i've been ghosted every time so this dude's method of attack with chris hansen here is to claim that he was using this website in order to meet up with people online he's not hiding that fact but he is lying about the fact that he knows the decoy's age and he's claiming that he thought they were just you know a normal adult that he was speaking to but chris has a huge log of chats that show that this dude was very curious about the fact that this person was this age and kept talking with them once they revealed their age and also was trying to make sure they weren't law enforcement which means that he had fear of getting arrested or caught for doing this. And where did you come from today? Uh, I just, I don't feel comfortable yeah. talking okay. to people. Well, I don't know what's going on. You, you had a charged conversation. Oh, this poor guy. He's really trying to paint himself as a victim right now. He's like, I don't know what's going on. You guys just threw me in cuffs. I'm just an average guy using a website trying to meet up with people. And uh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm being arrested. I don't know what's going on. Like, dude, you can feign ignorance your entire time here. But we all know the monster that you are. So you might as well be honest if you want to have any chance of saving face because you know this dude's entire family and work network and everybody that he knows in his real life, his best buddies and everything, they're all going to see this and see what kind of a monster has been hiding in plain sight. How am I supposed to? She that? said she was online. No, she did not. Yes, she did. No, I have the transcripts. You don't lie to me, James. I already know the answers to these questions, so it's best if you just tell me the truth. <laughs> and Chris is already getting pissed off, going absolutely ape on this guy because he just will not be honest. He still says that the decoy never said their age, and he could pinpoint multiple times in this chat where the decoy was very, very upfront about their age. So that lie is really not going to work for him, but he is just going with that alone. Again, this is somebody who did not put much forethought into their backstory in case they did get caught. He really just thought he was going to get lucky today. 
So you can try to game me, but it's not going to work out that well for you. Trust me. I just I know a whole lot. I just Dude, Chris is giving like, you know, when your parent gets home and they see your report card before you're able to intercept it, that type of tone from your parent right now. Like he is angry and just trying to get to the truth. He's like, there's no point in lying to me. Don't be an idiot. I already know the answers to the questions I'm asking, but I'm giving you the chance to answer them honestly so that you can win some brownie points with me. Otherwise, I can just let these guys take you away in cuffs. Would you like that? And honestly, this dude probably would prefer that at this point instead of being humiliated on TV for any longer than he already has. Have you ever met anybody before who's ever? Okay. Mm -hmm. No, sir. If I run your criminal background check, what am I going to find? Oh, geez. So, yeah, Chris brings up the question of if we run your background check, what are we going to find? And this dude goes on with this long story about how he accidentally started a family with somebody who was over half a decade younger than him, and he had just turned 21. So you go ahead and do that math there. Apparently, her parents were, you know, cool with it, and they had a very loving relationship for a couple years. All that I'm hearing is this dude has done this before and been caught for it and charged for it. So, yeah, lock this freaking dude up and throw away the key please he obviously cannot play well with society and he has not been reformed in any way because he's still trolling these chat rooms trying to find another person of a similar innocence and it's just absolutely terrifying to think about the fact that this dude's been lurking out there trying to strike again for all these years and he plays off this story like it's some beautiful thing like no dude that's disgusting oh, man we didn't have any bad relationship after that or anything we were a family for a couple of years like i'm just a God, right now and i don't understand what's going on here you guys are filming me i feel like i'm being violated and he brings up the <laughs> hilarious comment that he thinks he's being violated because he's being filmed without his consent dude you walked into this house trying to break the law this is a tv crew that is working with a law enforcement agency it's like cops they're gonna have the camera on you are the one in fact chris says that he's like you are the one that was coming over here trying to violate if you're trying to bring up that word bro like you are the antagonist of this story Shot and I had a feeling there might be cops here because it just didn't seem right. I've never met anybody before on the site and it just, I, I'm a grown ass man. I don't need to mess with little. Oh, and he gives us another golden excuse that a lot of these morons use, which is, I knew it was sketchy. I already knew it was going to be a sting. That's why I just showed up just for the hell of it, just to give you guys the content. Because, like, I low-key knew. Like, I had a bad feeling. Like, you can say you had a bad feeling all you want, but you still went through with it because your brain was being dictated by your smaller head. And you were thinking with that one, all right, dude? But it's just so funny. This dude's so offended that he is, you know, this TV crew has the gall to be filming him while he broke into this house, pretty much. Like, what are you on about, dude? But that's what you were doing today. No, it was not. And I feel like I should probably have an attorney here the way you guys are doing this to me. I don't feel comfortable. So now he starts to really crack down and he's like, you know what? I don't feel comfortable. I'm not going to answer any questions. I think I need a lawyer to help me talk through this, which honestly is the smart move when you are getting questioned. Like, obviously, you should have a lawyer present, but I don't want these guys to know that trick. You know what I mean? I want them to be dumb and spill the beans for Chris on camera so we can get better content. But this sounds like a guy who was very calculated and kind of knows that, you know, from prior experience. <laughs> experience of uh you know dealing with law enforcement for this same type of case he knows it's best to just keep his mouth shut because anything he say can and will be used in the court of law as they say when they give you your miranda rights so yeah this dude's kind of smart for that but man it's disappointing can you see why i'm having a hard time believing you if you were in my shoes would you believe you i don't know reread the transcripts i don't understand because i never I ever and this dude is just so defensive right now he really has no ground to stand on so he is just deflecting and saying lawyer 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 i want my lawyer meanwhile chris has not given up on that pressure uh i see this happening a lot in interrogation videos i don't really know how that works i swear they'd still try to you know get you to kind of change your mind on the lawyer thing and they keep asking you questions but technically i think at this point they're supposed to shut up and let you talk to your lawyer so i don't know how this works but this dude is really dead set to speaking to some sort of lawyer so that he could cover his own ass so you can tell me or i, I really do not feel comfortable talking to you people right now all right like, james there's something you need to know and that is i'm chris hansen i know who you are I've you know who i am TV, yes. you see me on tv yes so there's a lie exposed. This dude originally said he has no idea who Chris Hansen is, and he was confused at why he was even being arrested. And now it's obvious that he does know who he is, and he does know what kind of sting this was. So that's why he's become so instantly defensive. He realizes he's thrown away his entire life. I mean, when you already have a charge for something like this, I doubt the court is going to go very lightly on your case, like they sadly have done with some of the previous creeps showcased on this show. A lot of these guys do not get the time that they deserve. Some of them don't even serve time, and they end up getting parole or something, or the case entirely dropped so yeah i doubt that's gonna happen with this guy he might be going away for a long long time i'm really hoping for it at least where did you come from wisconsin no 
Well, where? In Michigan. In Michigan. Where in Michigan? I, I just, I want to talk to a lawyer and I don't want to talk to you people. Take me to jail or whatever you're going to do because this is a total misunderstanding. It's a total misunderstanding. Even though you have that literal packet of the chat logs and, you know, I, I instantly got defensive and I already have a charge for something like this, but it's a total misunderstanding. You guys are the ones that got it mixed up. I don't even know why I'm here. Like, honestly, I'm just confused by this whole thing. So yeah, that's his plan. He's just going to act confused and wait for his lawyer. And it sounds like this dude's going to be shutting up for pretty much the rest of the interview, sadly. Is there anything else you want people to know about what happened today? I didn't know. <laughs> Do you see why your past would make that look really suspicious? And this dude doesn't care what he looks like. He's not defined by his past, even though he has gone on to completely repeat it at this point and get in trouble for the same exact type of crime that he already got charged with 20 something years ago. Also, this guy's a repeat offender. Like I said earlier, lock him up and throw away the key, please. And I would like to speak to an attorney, please. Well, these gentlemen here are going to help you do that. Anything What's else you want to say? I have nothing more to say. I'm being completely railroaded here. I don't know. So that's his final statement. This is wrong, which uh, I guess is very true. Yes, what you were doing is extremely wrong. So law enforcement does end up taking this dude away. He really has nothing much else to say. And I got to say, he was a little bit of a Karen in this episode, man. It's smart that he was, you know, wanting to speak to some sort of lawyer in order to cover his own ass. But again, I wish he was not wise enough for that because I think we could have got a very good interview from this guy. Still, Chris tried to hold his own on this one and this dude just was not budging. So let me know what you thought down in the comments below. As always, run this video up with likes if you haven't already and hit subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss an upload of mine we'll have some more chris hansen some more i don't know tlc adjacent stuff coming up this month and as always i'll catch you guys in the next video until next time peace out